This video is sponsored by epal.gg. More about it later in the video. <coughs> Summer's pretty much over, and I'm sure everyone's made a verdict on what their best summer anime is. As a season, I think this was one of the more underrated ones in recent years. Yeah, we don't have a lot of super mainstream hits, but that doesn't mean there's nothing to be excited for in retrospect. Today we'll be talking about what I think are some of the best fights the season has to offer. After all, what better way to start saying goodbye to a surprisingly fun season than with that stuff that you guys all enjoy. Action clips, fight summaries and more. <laughs> to kick things off, we have Engage Kiss's first episode fight. Starting things off on the right track here, I think. Coming into the season, Engage Kiss is one of the shows I was very excited about since it ticks a lot of the checkboxes for these niche shits that I oh so enjoy. The VN like feel, a combination of comedy, romance, and action, as well as attractive character designs. I'd also say that the show started off on the right foot for battle enthusiasts with this fight right here. Yes, things get much wilder later, but for this video, I'd like to start off featuring something simple that can make a good first impression. As early as the first episode, you could already see that this anime is great in terms of visuals and fight direction. The action's fast and furious, and the banter mid scuffle only serves to enhance the moment. I just love seeing some of my liked tropes in action. At the moment, I know this show's a keeper. Engage Kiss isn't the show that will blow everyone away, but in terms of casual entertainment, it hits the right notes for me. Came after biting the waifu bait, coming out of the season feeling super satisfied. Hines versus Gojin is up next. It's been a while since Overlord has reached a level of hype, it seems. Such is the sad fate of a show that spanned multiple seasons already. But for us loyal fans who've stayed throughout, here's a reward for everyone. An excellent battle that pits our unstoppable Ainz against the warrior king, Gojin. From an outsider's perspective, the duel does look a little bit like a mismatch. Gojin simply towers over everyone's favorite skeleton guy, and the fight goes exactly as you'd expect. Ainz surprisingly takes a bit of a thrashing at first, but we all know that the comeback is coming. Ainz easily turns the tables and shows everyone that he hasn't lost a step. He systematically dismantles Gojin until the proud king has been laid bare. All to set up that final blow, a stab that seems so simple yet powerful. The results should be no shock to fans of Overlord, but seeing Ainz assert dominance and flex on his opponent in such a manner never gets old. This may not be the most brutal Ainz win, but it's got a place amongst the best fights of summer 2022. Now that's one amazing fight, isn't it? We do have a lot more, but if you were to ask me, exciting anime fights are better enjoyed with a companion. That's what today's sponsor is all about. epal.gg is your go-to site if you're feeling lonely and you just want to have someone to talk to. I know several anime fans share that sentiment of wanting someone to be friends with or to talk anime and gaming about, and that's what today's sponsor is here to answer. epal.gg is a social networking site aimed to sate those needs of yours, whether it be coaching that you need for games, an always trustworthy teammate to help you climb the ranks of the gaming world or just a crying shoulder to support you when you're feeling down from losing five games in a row, epal.gg will find you the perfect match. While the site caters mostly to gaming, anime fans can also join in on the fun too. After all, everyone desires that one companion to share your passions with, right? You can check out the website in the link below, make an account and start meeting different people to join you on your journey. Check out epal.gg now. Speaking of adaptations with so many seasons, how about something cool from Danmachi? One of the most satisfying wins in Danmachi, Bell finally gets a chance to showcase his growth and defeats Moss Huge in this confrontation. Unlike the Ainz fight, this is a true underdog battle, as Bell has got to contend with a giant monster that's pretty much superior to him in every conceivable way. This Moss Huge also comes with enhanced intelligence, and even with all his efforts, Bell finds himself in the defensive against an unstoppable onslaught. However, the brightest stars shine in the darkest moments, and this might as well be one of the landmark episodes of Danmachi his latest season. This sets the stage for Bell to reveal his new technique, coating his dagger with fire in a scene that's so well put together. The presentation to the sound and the resulting attacks is something that would have caused people to erupt in applause in a theatre setting. Danamachi has had an up and down journey as the seasons go by, but this latest season has some of the best fights I've seen lately. The animation and voice acting is as good as ever, and seeing Bell unleash this new skill gave me goosebumps.
Jolene versus Westwood ought to give this JoJo season some spunk. <laughs> The second half really up the ante with these fights as the story starts heating up. While it's nice to have the anime give the spotlight to the side characters, isn't it about time for Jolene to take center stage now? And boy, did she make the most out of it. The Westwood fight may not have had too much hype coming into it, but as the clash does go on, it becomes more and more immersive. This battle does more than its fair share of showing Jolene's growth and her even stronger resolve for victory and survival. It's a good old one-on-one -on -one showdown and we get to see Jolene's pull out from the bag of tricks to overcome what seemed to be an uphill battle. I don't think Stone Ocean will rank too high in people's power rankings due to its simplicity, but we've got to give some props to how well Jolene manages to utilize it in combination with her own physical skills. <laughs> Ruby's here to join the fun too. Queendom isn't something that takes a while to become good. I've enjoyed it as early as the first few episodes. It may have lacked stuff that made the original Ruby special, but it had made up for it with a lot of the genuine anime feel that I really liked. However, with the latter episodes, I mean, let's just say that the fight scenes have been well pushed to another level. Take this fight, for example. To say that the fight choreography is insane is an understatement. And the whole sequence of defeating Nightmare Blake is a trope that I won't ever get tired of. When Blake got free and the insert song starts playing, <sighs> Goosebumps, man. The insert song just made the scene so much more hype. I can't wait for the full version. I'm not so sure how well Ice Queendom is doing in terms of getting new people into the franchise, but as far as I'm concerned, it's the perfect entry point for people who just can't do without the anime aesthetic. It's got everything people love about anime right there. How can we talk about signature fights this summer season without going over Luffy versus Kaido? It's one of the most anticipated battles of all time, and it didn't disappoint. Not even one bit. Even I, as a massive fan, don't know what my favorite part of the fight is. I mean, could it be when Luffy infuses himself with Conqueror Haki and punches Kaido so hard the old opening starts playing? I mean, it certainly is a strong candidate, and I'm sure that even lapsed fans of One Piece would find a reason to come back and shed tears at such an epic moment. This lengthy fight had everything drama, moments that make you go wow. And if you're in any way interested in One Piece, and you should be by the way, this is history being made. Something to remember for the ages. Another great fight to wrap things up is Chisato versus Majima's final duel. <laughs> there are so many things to like about Licorice Recoil. A strong candidate for anime of the season, people loved it for the dynamics between characters and the action, the latter which looks like something straight out of Hollywood blockbusters in its frantic fervor. There's never a dull moment in the show and that carries on all the way until the final battle, pitting Chisato and Majima against each other once and for all. It's a very good gunfight and there's more than just a fast paced eye pleaser as it's also integrated with a conclusion to their character arcs and philosophies. The break and the pseudo family banter really added a dimension to their relationship and I love how as soon as they're done talking, it's back to the action in full swing with everything on the line. Licorice Recoil is more than its pretty animation for its fight scenes, way more than that. But if you're the type who can't get enough of sequences like this and are tired of all the overloaded special effects for magical powers in fantasy anime, Licorice Recoil is a hearthy recommendation. Last but not least, we have Humans vs Shadows in Summertime Render. Summertime Render has been a roller coaster of emotions. I've watched a lot of time loop shows, but rarely does it hit as hard as this. I guess it has to do with how physical and brutal the deaths are, and it really drives home the idea that the stakes are so high. Hey, they even did the thing where the protagonist doesn't have infinite continues. With how much of an underdog humanity has been presented against shadows in the dozen episodes before this, seeing an all out battle between Shinbei's team and the invading shadows is a treat. Despite being underdogs, the group United manages to put up a fight in 
can even get a win over the invading army, picking up an unlikely ally along the way. The fighting's as intense as always, and it has a lot of suspenseful moments. Too many close calls for comfort, that's what really kept me watching. The whole moment is as unpredictable as you can get. But hey, that's pretty much the trademark of the show since then, right? It keeps you guessing before violently pulling the plug and giving you even more questions and anticipation. I really love Summertime Render, and while it's not exactly a show where the fighting is the main appeal, it sure plays an extremely big role, and I'm all for it. And there are some more amazing fights in the series, like pretty much everything involving the four-armed shadow towards the endgame. <laughs> And that's got to do it for my favorite fights this summer 2022. Now, if you enjoyed this video, once again, leave a like, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out epal.gg, links in the description. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again. Till next time.